Bluehost versus GoDaddy. What do you think I should choose for my domain name and setting up WordPress? Well, pal, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I don't know you. <laughs> I just feel like giving you a hard time. I hate GoDaddy and I like Bluehost, kind of. <laughs> Is that the, the cliff notes? Everyone says that my videos are too long and that I go on these rants and da da da. You know why I do that? Because I've had 10 years in this industry and I've had so many frustrating experiences with a lot of these companies that it's hard for me not to. People ask questions and I just get triggered and it's like, oh my God, I remember this time, you know, when GoDaddy was such a pain in the ass and I couldn't cancel the domain privacy even though I didn't renew the, renew the domain name so now I never want to use them ever again. Um, or, you know, I used to have 3,000 domain names registered at GoDaddy. I used to pay them tens of thousands of dollars a year in domain registration fees, yet I still had to, you know, pay this and pay that, and I still got raped on the renewal fees, and there was, you know, the bulk discount thing was all bullshit. Now I use NameSilo for all my domain names. There's YouTube links in the YouTube description for each of these services that I'm about to talk about. But between Bluehost and GoDaddy, it's Bluehost all the way. Bluehost is not the best dedicated hosting provider, but if you're looking for a shared blog host that's affordable and cheap and good to get going on and has good native English speaking phone support 24 seven, Bluehost is right for you. They gave me a discount code for all my readers. That's in the YouTube description too. Just click the link, it'll automatically be applied to your account. I believe the current price is less than five bucks a month if you pay for 12 months up front, which is a pretty good deal. 60 bucks a year for the hosting, 20 bucks a year for the domain name, less than 100 bucks, you got a badass blog hosting platform. Um, and I don't use GoDaddy for anything anymore, so I don't know how far you want me to comment on this. Uh, we could talk about this uh, every which way to Sunday, actually. <laughs> I've had a lot of experiences, more than most people, with just about every registrar on the planet. Um, I was not a domainer, but I was a web developer for a very long time. And I've also had a lot of affiliate marketing experience in a past life and several other things. So I used to register and keep a portfolio of a lot of domain names into the thousands uh, every year. So if you do have other questions about registering domain names or web you know, anything. Just let me know in the YouTube comments and I'll add it to next week's queue. See you in the next video.